In today's video, we are revisiting what kinds of odd candy we can turn into cotton candy. Are these gonna work or are they going to end in disaster? Hey everyone, before we start the video, I just wanted to remind you of the 25% off sale going on in the shop right now. The build kits make great Christmas gifts, so go ahead and click the link in the description to get yours now. Well, not too long ago, we had an experiment to try freeze drying a bunch of things, and we got some very weird results from several types of candy, and I guess it kind of makes sense that a lot of you wanted to see if those weird types of candy could be turned into a different weird type of candy, cotton candy, like what Callie is chowing down on right now. They're going great. Here's the basic idea. We have a few new types of candy that seem like they could work really well in our cotton candy machine, but we're not sure. We're going to try taffy, Skittles, and some marshmallow fluff. We're not sure if these will work, but we want to find out. Yeah, the process of freeze drying stuff removes all the moisture, and we've chosen several candies that have main ingredients of sugar and corn syrup, which from our experiments seem to be what works the best. Other types of sweeteners don't really seem to work. Fructose doesn't work. Not at all. A lot of candies use dextrose as a base and that doesn't seem to work either. But we have some Skittles, we have some cola flavored gummy candies, we've got marshmallows and marshmallow fluff, and then we've got a few different flavors of saltwater taffy. And all of these have sugar and corn syrup as the main ingredient. We have our freeze dried Skittles and then we have some freeze dried Skittles that we've removed the shells from. And so we're gonna try both the shell part and the interior part. These are from sour Skittles. These are from dark side Skittles. I think that Nate and I may be the only two human alive on this planet at this moment that can say that we have successfully skinned freeze dried Skittles or de-shelled, we de-shelled freeze dried Skittles. That's not a sentence you hear every day. This is regular cotton candy. It was just a pretty color, but as far as the uh, different combinations that we have here today. I'm most excited about the uh, saltwater taffy. We have two different flavor combos that we kind of want to try. This is our, if I remember correctly, this is like the huckleberry taffy, or is that the purple? I think purple's huckleberry. This is another type of berry. Blue. Yeah, these are two of my favorite types of saltwater taffy. We think they're gonna mix fantastically together. And then we've got chocolate and peppermint. That was because we didn't have enough of either one. It's kind of similar to our berries here. Uh, we hope these flavors are gonna go well together. And then Nate has a pile of pear saltwater taffy. He really likes that flavor. So lots of fun experiments, fun things that we can try. We'll see what works. Well, I think what we can do is let's just take a small handful of Skittles here. And we're just gonna blend this up into a powder. Hopefully that gives us a more even melt, if they melt at all. Well, okay. Even if cotton candy doesn't work, Skittle dust is a thing now. I'm gonna add a big old scoop of Skittle dust. See what it does. Oh, um, we've got threads. We've got some serious it, threads. Wow. We've got fluff. What? I, want I don't more. think anyone's ever made cotton candy out of Skittles before, but we have now. I don't think I've ever okay, heard Nate this is that also working before. really well. Yes, like, amazingly well. Very few well. candies that we've tried fluff up this much. It's not nearly as good as actual cotton candy sugar. That would probably be at least double this volume. But still. But for non-official, I'm just gonna keep going, keep going. Do another scoop here. This is yeah. This is as good as we've ever had, except for maybe lifesavers. Join me, Callie. Get a piece and, and at the same. Oh, it's stretchy. What? All right. It's much stretchier. It's softer. It feels softer. All right. First yeah. ever Skittles cotton candy, probably. It's delicious. That's great. It does. <laughs> I got too excited about your tail. It does have a graininess. I don't care. No, not. It's it's definitely not bad. Oh, this, I'm dying. Callie breathed in her cotton candy. But this to me is the weirdest. It like, it really stretches and slides apart. You know, normal cotton candy just sort of tears. This feels like it's, doesn't want to let go. Oh, and then when it is, goodness. it's like, maybe, maybe as though it were silk instead of cotton. Okay, you know what this is like? Halloween cobwebs. That you can just like, you get this ball of it and then you just sort of stretch to make pretty stuff. Holy crap. I'm so, this is amazing. Now we have insides only. So these are Skittles. We cut all the shells off. So I'm going to try just taking the insides. Dark side Skittles, insides only. Yes. Getting some good fluff. Smells really nice. Mm-hmm. All right. 
The first one again with sour skittle. This is just the interior of Dark Side. This might be the holy Kay. grail Look, of cotton candy. Looking at it, I I think I do still see the little grains. Yeah. Still got the stretchy sliding texture. It's good. I like it. I want to try regular Skittles to see if that, you know, we just get a good regular Skittle flavor. Okay. That odd brownish color. Mmm. Yeah? I just breathed in a little bit. That was we all. have to stop doing that. I didn't mean to, but I like the flavor of that a lot, so I'm excited for this one. Okay. Color is interesting. It's more of a pink. Yeah. And the powder was more of a brown, so that's kind of fun that it's changed a bit. Still has the flex. Uh huh. Still has the weird stretchy consistency. Oh my gosh. That tastes like a pack of Skittles. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. Skittles cotton candy exists in this world now, you guys. And it doesn't come off your fingers. We're full grown adults, and 90% of our diet is cotton candy and steak at this point. That's fine. It's fine. Um, it also occurs to me, I don't think we're gonna do this because it's probably not worth the effort, but you could totally separate out by flavor. So if you just wanted red Skittles mm -hmm. or orange, you could just have the individual flavors of Skittles cotton yep. candy. This has worked amazingly well, way better wow. than I thought it would. Absolutely. Also, I love the fact that this is shapeable cotton candy. This is a pile of mostly dark side, some sour shells. Like I said, we deshelled a bunch of our Skittles to see if it would make a difference. I'm gonna try this. Obviously, you can still see there's some of the inner white because it's very hard to deshell Skittles, guys. Fun fact. I'm just gonna try a little handful and see what happens. I am concerned because the shells have sort of a slash. Never mind. I'm not concerned about anything in life. Shells seem to be working great. And again, mostly shells. Still has some of the inner, but... Probably about half. Eh. Yeah, not nearly as much color as I would have thought. But here's my thought. I don't think, because it's got, I would assume, a little bit less sugar. Maybe it doesn't burn quite Could the be. same. And as one other related experiment, I am just going to put some Skittles that haven't been freeze-dried in. Ah, very hopefully good. Hopefully not clogging up my machine too badly. Well, so far, whole Skittles, unfreeze dried actually. Oh my goodness. Turn it into this. I would definitely not have thought that. I thought that like the slight chewy texture of what's in Skittles yeah. would make it so it would not melt evenly. And that we would not get a nice. Color? Yeah, I mean, it was a good mix. There was a couple of blue ones in there and the red and something like that. So, my but gosh. I just didn't think it was gonna work. Still has some flex in it, which could even be leftover. Oh man, that's good. Good flavor. If you have a cotton candy machine at home, guys. Put Skittles in it. Put Skittles in it. Skittles gets like an wow. eight out of 10 for me. Yeah. Uh, for cotton candy. And that's like 10 being. That works surprisingly well. Perfect. So this is gummy cola. They look like little bottles before you freeze dry them. I'm gonna break this in half and just try and drop yeah. one half than the other and we'll see if it melts. Come on. Oh, it smells like burning gelatin already. Oh no, yeah, that's... Abort, There's abort some mission. No, it's, There's some I don't wisps. know. I'm just going to lightly chop up some marshmallows. It's not even gonna be like a fine chop. I'm not gonna put them in the blender. I'm gonna cut up these two marshmallows into sort of small pieces. Hmm. I don't think marshmallows are gonna work. If it does, Gonna take a bit and then it's going to spit out and it's gonna be like toasted marshmallow flavor. Which would be amazing if this works. However, right now, not even wisps. Wait, wait. Okay. Some fiberglassy wisps. Kind of like are what starting. we got for the Coca-Cola. Yeah, like it's they're very just sort slight. of. Yeah, it's, they're not even the connected. Side. It's just like one at a time. Are they Ow. are they good? Ow! No, oh, don't yeah. do it. Ow! Splatters your hand, huh? It's like trying to touch a toasted marshmallow. It does taste exactly like toasted marshmallow, but our fluffiness is non-existent. We're just getting fiberglass, which might be good to just scoop up and eat. That would make such a bizarre, but such a cool like... Fancy dessert topping. Yes, it on looks top like, of like a cupcake. It looks like dried sprouts or something. Yeah. But it does have a slight burned taste, but kind of like if you were Cali and you roasted a marshmallow and it got slightly burned. Whole marshmallows, not a great result, but nope. we do have this right here, and this was just marshmallow fluff. And 
I suspect we're gonna get pretty much the same results, but I'm, we're gonna try it. I'm not sure. It doesn't even react the same as marshmallows in the freeze dryer, so I have a little bit of hope it's true. here. True. Marshmallows don't really expand. Marshmallow fluff. This was like smeared out flat on the bottom of this tray. I actually didn't think it was gonna puff up nearly as much because he was like smooshing it down with a spatula. No, if it doesn't start working the first few seconds when we have it this warm, I never really have a lot of faith. I think it's just so airy that it's not in contact with it. It just takes longer to heat up. Well, we have enough hay now to try it, I think. Yep. Tastes like toasted marshmallow. Yep. Next up is the saltwater taffy. I don't think that's the best way to do it. It's fine. I guess we're gonna try it like this. YOLO! <laughs> oh, that worked out for you. Haha, uh -huh, I got it. Did you? Yes. Did you? It smells like berry. Smells delicious. Uh huh. But there's no stringiness. It smells fantastic. I'm very confused as to whatever is happening. This is bizarre. It's just, Do yeah, it's splattering on it? it on the yeah. sides. Try some purple. Mm hmm. Not purple. like really well, but a lot better. It looks like we just put solely in our cotton candy machine. All right, well, we're not getting nice cotton candy. We are getting some threads off on the sides here. And they're delicious and strange. It's good. I melted an entire piece of peppermint taffy in there. And now everything smells like peppermint. Mm. Guys, that's not all. We've always got more for you to see. Click that box up at the top, check out the most recent video, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.